Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I wanted to try to go over some plans that I had for um, creating some containers for some, some little lettuce and that sort of thing. So um, I thought I would try to bring you guys along. Um, sorry for the writing, sorry for the, the roughness and everything. I'm just trying to um, kind of sketch out and, and kind of try to show you guys. Um, the idea is that I'm going to take a 2 liter bottle, um, make a cut in here and you know take out a section and then fill it up with dirt and then put like one one or two lettuce or maybe three small lettuce uh, in there obviously not head lettuce I probably want to do a, um, a lo loose leaf lettuce that sort of thing um, so I have a couple different designs here I'll try to, to show you guys the best I can with my crude writing and stuff the first one's quite simple um, it's just the two liter bottle laid on its side with a, a cut out there where the plants will grow through it um, you know the other thing I was also saying uh, is uh, use a like a milk jug underneath it to kind of hold it um, so that it doesn't it doesn't roll obviously um, so that was one idea that I had come up with this one uh, would have no holes to try to um, uh, really reduce the water amount of water it would take um, in hopes that the the roots wouldn't that whoever is watering it would hopefully not overwater and then not have to have holes in it just to kind of conserve on water. Um, that was one design that I had. Uh, the second one is um, the two liter bottle uh, upright with it cut in half uh, and you take the top part and twist it around and, and put it there. Uh, so the, the thing, actually let me, <laughs> I did bigger drawings. Sorry, here we go. All right. So. Um, yeah, this is just the first design with the drain holes added. Um, I'll probably have those as optional, I, I'm not sure. And I like to put my drain holes a little bit up so that there's a little bit of a reservoir there. Um, I don't like to put mine on the bottom, but I like to have my plants where they have more water. I live in Florida, so they generally um, are a little starved of water, so any extra water usually uh, isn't too big of a factor. But So um, the 2 liter, uh, so there's the 2 liter bottle. Uh, with plants, you know, kind of just has a, a generic pot there. Um, and then the second one was um, I was going to take and put the two liter bottle with like um, I'm a, um, either milk jug or uh, I like to use the orange juice jugs that are that are white. Um, you still have to cover them with uh, aluminum foil. Uh, and that would be the other thing about the two liter bottle is um, you know you still want to cover it with aluminum foil to keep algae and nutrients uh, and everything good. But um, so the, this one I actually um, tried to do more of a use the bottom milk jug or orange juice jug as a kind of a reservoir uh, for water. And so I, I was thinking of putting like a twine, uh, something that would wick up the uh, moisture and the water from the bottom up to the top for the plants to be able to, to have uh, water. So um, that was uh, another design I was kind of thinking of. Uh, the first one's just kind of a simple lay it on the ground, um, you know, uh, without having to uh, to worry about a bottom. Then the second one was kind of, okay, you know, this is the next step up, um, thinking if I can get the water to come up from the reservoir to water, then I could just bottom water all the time and not have to worry about it. So um, I'm not sure how big the plants would be uh, need to be to for that to, to happen or if it would even work, but I thought I would I'd try that out. Uh, and then I have a third design where um, uh, the top, it's kind of, um, this is the one I was just going over that had the smaller picture. The top, um, it comes down and it kind of cuts off here. It's really hard to see, sorry. Uh, but essentially that's the, the top half of the bottle. Uh, I would cut it here-ish, you know, somewhere up here. And then I would use this part here, flip it over, and put it into this segment here. Uh, and that's essentially what this one's trying to represent there. Um, what I would do is I would try to fill the top up with soil, and then the bottom I would try to fill it with hydroponics uh, solution. And then what I would do is I would have like a cloth or a twine to go down into the liquid and hopefully pull up moisture into the soil here. Um, so that was kind of what I was kind of thinking of. Um, I know hydroponically, unless the roots can get down and kind of get into the hydroponic solution, it might be a bit of a waste, but um, I kind of thought that would be something cool to kind of play around with and, and see. Um, so, and then um, I also had, um, I had a, uh, another one here, uh, another experiment I wanted to try to do. Uh, with a, um, I think it's like a one inch PVC pipe will fit a two liter bottle. 
uh, the threads here if you heat it up and screw it in. I'm not positive about that. I haven't done it myself yet, uh, but I've seen other people who are, who are trying to do that. So my thought was with my five gallon bucket, um, I tend to have a little bit of trouble with um, keeping the hydroponic solution at a two to four inch uh, range. Um, I think the Crab Key recommends two inches, um, but uh, for me in Florida with all the heat, um, two inches, it, it's so frustrating to try to, to maintain. Um, so I might try to do four, um, you know, so I'm going to, I guess, vary uh, a bit. I'm sure there's some variances in the, the Crab Key method, but um, anyways, I was uh, going to try to do like a two or four inch height here, um, have the, all this airtight with the air hole here. Um, so that as um, if all this is airtight, then the liquid shouldn't come out uh, the bottom until air gets in there. So the thought was is um, I would have like an air hole there to, to help regulate um, the, the liquid and stuff. So I guess the, um, the um, problem with that is, is if the, the bottle kind of crushes and the liquid gets out without there getting air back into it. So I don't know how much of that will work or how that will work and everything. Uh, but I thought that that might be a solution uh, for me to try to um, try to do that as a solution there to um, to trying to, to water and everything. So um, the, the bigger problem I'm seeing is um, how I would have it so that this whole, the pipe and the bottle could just pull straight out and I could just slip the new one in. Um, so um, I'm kind of curious to know if I'll... I'll be able to, to sort all that out because as you're putting the pipe in, you know, once the bottom's not plugged, um, you know, all the water could go out. So, um, you know, I don't know exactly. And then, like, if, if the water level's here and you pull the, the pipe out, it'll release all that water that's in the, the, um, in the pipe there. But I just thought uh, that might be a fun way to try to um, switch out, um, you know, and, and try to, instead of having to, to lift the bucket or put a light on the bucket to see how much liquid was in the bucket and then try to, to fill it up uh, based upon that and whether I used, you know, hydroponic solution or water, um, you know, I could I could fill up a, a two liter bottle and be able to, to do that, um, you know, with that. So um, these were kind of my, uh, my thoughts of uh, trying to, to kind of play around with some things. Um, I have a neighbor that, um, she usually has a garden, but she, uh, doesn't, uh, right now. So, um, I thought if I could get some of my seedlings that are out in my window box, if I could, um, pull those out and instead of killing them, uh, or eating them in a salad, if I could take and, um, transfer them to like a two liter bottle that I have just lying around, then, um, she might be able to get two or three leafy lettuce, um, growing there and you know they would be on the smaller side but um I think that she could probably get you know a little bit of food there it's just her um so I don't think she needs a whole lot and I could always probably do a, a second or third bottle if they all work out so but that's my ideas um I kind of uh you know curious to see how they all work out I'm not sure timeline of if I'll ever get these done especially um the um uh, kind of automatic watering that's kind of uh going to be a little bit more of a a thing to put together but I figured I might be able to, to kind of set up the two liter bottles here and, and try and, and see what I can do there but um so uh, that's probably what I'll try to work on next is I'll try to do a video on that just to, to kind of show uh, if I made any progress um, you know and, and try it and show you guys online so um, it would be a great way for somebody that uh, doesn't want to spend money on a container um, you know if they happen to have a friend that's drinking soda or if they're drinking soda uh, and they happen to have two liter bottles uh, hanging around um, with lids, I, I recommend, because um, you can always take the lid off uh, if you want drainage out the side or, or whatever, but um, with the lid, at least you, you have it, you know, where you, you can fill the dirt up higher, um, you know, it's not kind of falling out the side. Um, but that's just what I was thinking, um, just kind of a cheap uh, pot here. Um, you know, you really just need a razor blade and you don't even need one this nice. Um, I just happened to do some cutting, so um, uh, we decided to just invest in a good knife and, you know, a good sharp blade. That way you're not playing the, is the blade sharp game. So, um, but anyways, so I'll let you guys go. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment if you could. Um, I appreciate all you guys uh, carrying out conversations with me in the comments and the encouragement and everything that uh, I'm receiving. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.